One of the hottest food trends emerging out of the pandemic centers around charcuterie, artful arrangements of meat, cheese, and more. In this morning's The Rebound Green Country, we introduce you to an inspirational local woman who quit her day job and followed her cheese board dreams. My number one. My number one rule of cheese boards is cut the cheese. Sharia Prophet's wit and wisdom is as sharp as the cheddar she sells. Most of what we do has become our cheese and charcuterie gift boxes, and so it kind of is the perfect gift. It's like the beauty of an arrangement, but also it's edible, so it's comfort food. Just like the colorful boxes and boards she creates, the pandemic created opportunity for Prophet to follow a lifelong dream. My background is in science, actually. I got my degree in biology. I was pre-med. I did public health um, as a master's degree. But since I was a child, I always kind of had this thought that I was going to end up in the food industry in some way someday. That day arrived last spring. As restaurants closed, Profit's side business, Charcuterie, offered people a new way to gather through food. She started producing these virtual videos and do-it-yourself cheese board kits. Saw that that created this little like beacon of hope in what was such a dark time for people. Um, I think people were really aching for something to kind of pull them out and give them a way to escape. And so um, those DIY cheese board kits really took off. They became so popular that by fall, Profit left her day job in public health to pursue this passion full time. We're really rolling really strongly and had a super great fall season. Um, it was really encouraging, especially having just quit my job. And, you know, I was just feeling inspired and feeling passionate. And then in December, my husband and I got COVID. So the company closed and quarantined, able to safely reopen right before Christmas. In the five days leading up to Christmas, we made over 500 cheese boards. In this new year, Profit hopes to turn this online business into her own store. The new kid on the block reminding us that anything is possible through hard work, the community's support, and great cheese, of course. So for those of you who maybe have an entrepreneurship dream, um, I would say go for it. It's a beautiful place to be kind of starting something new, um, and there is no support like the support you'll get here. Mike, she's such an impressive young woman. And while she does those regular charcuterie boxes, she also specializes in vegan boxes, gluten-free, all sorts of options for folks. And she collaborates with a lot of other local small business owners as well. So if I wanted to order one, is, is it like on our website or where yeah. can I go to get one of those boxes? So easy uh, to order one. Yeah, you can just, uh, there's a link on our website with this story so you can go there and learn more about her and uh, the art of what she does. I mean, who doesn't love cheese, right? Yeah. It brings everybody together. I need more cheese in my life. <laughs> yeah, for All sure. Right.